So with a transformer like this, you have to realize this ring running around it is iron and there's a shaft running through. So this iron on the outside is sort of in the shape of a figure eight. There's a bar running down through the middle along with the bar going down on the left and the right. And the other thing to bear in mind is these are laminated pieces of iron. So it's not one solid bar, it's a bunch of layers. And when you're trying to cut them, they can come apart and bind with the saw. So you have to be mindful of that. And the reason why they're laminated is to uh, cut down on eddy currents that can form within the iron, for those of you that want to study transformer design. And every transformer I've seen has copper wire in the windings, although there may be some out there that have a material other than copper. And the goal is going to be to try to see if we can get the copper out of it. The technique that I use is you do four cuts, one on either side of this bar, and then you flip it over, you do two more cuts, then you have access to the copper windings. When making cuts like these, you certainly can hedge your bets and make your life easier if you have a good, sharp, quality hacksaw blade. And you can see this lamination up here is already coming out, catching it on the saw. Going to try to bend it out of the way. So I've cut down pretty far on each side below the level of the hacksaw blade. And I have some of these pieces just hanging on by a thread. A little worried I may have missed on this side. I might have actually gone down into this thing. I'm going to try to see if I can break it away. Take the plates out one at a time. Well, it took me about 40 minutes of cutting here. And I think I'm through. There you go. Alright, you can see all the iron filings made by the hacksaw. And there's a whole pile on the floor. Here's a view of some of the iron filings. And there is both sides cut away. So, try to get these out of the way. Out of the way. These are often wrapped with the high dielectric tape. Okay, I'm looking at it, and there's some coils right here on the outside. Let's start peeling these off. And there's that coil of wire. Looks like got another one here. the second bunch with the first bunch. Now I have the secondary windings buried under the tape here. And here are the ends of the windings. Just a matter of unwinding them and trying not to get them tangled. That one. And here's that final coil of wire. I didn't measure it exactly, but it's somewhere around 100 feet copper. 
and this is the total haul. These wires I think are aluminum so I don't know how much they're worth going after. And I did grab a little bit of this aluminum wire. I have a and here's the rest of the core. This thing is heavy. Wouldn't want to get hit over the head with it. Well and now for the punchline. A little bit of aluminum. 11 grams. 0.35 ounces or 0 0.024 pounds. Nothing to brag about there, but what the heck, we got what we got. And for the copper, 1.2 pounds, which is 550 grams, so a little over half a kilogram, or 1.2 pounds of copper. So was it worth it? Well, I leave that up to you. Of course, this was a pretty hunkin' big transformer. <laughs> They're obviously not all that big. I've got some other ones here that I'm planning to disassemble in my copious free time. And uh, they won't yield as much, but they should be a heck of a lot less work to boot. So, But either way, I appreciate you coming by the shop and checking out what I'm up to. Hope you got something out of the video. Feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment. Hey, it all helps the algorithms, and I appreciate it. I hope some of my experiences can help some of you out there. So as always, keep your eyes out for the next one.